Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out a negative fraction power. So if we have a to the power minus m over n, what you need to do then is write it as a fraction with 1 on the numerator and then on the denominator of the fraction write the base number down a, put a root over it, put the denominator on the root and the numerator on the outside. Okay, so let's have a look at these three examples. So first one is to work out nine to the power minus a half. Okay, so first of all then we go one over, so we put the nine here, we put a root over the nine, we put the denominator on the root, then put a bracket around it and the numerator on the outside. So we just need to simplify this a little bit first of all. So since we've got the little 2 on the root, this means the square root of 9. So the square root of 9 is 3 because 3 times 3 is 9. So this means we have 1 over 3 to the power of 1. And then 3 to the power of 1 is just 3. So we end up with the answer 1 third. So let's have a look at the example two then. So we've now got to work out 16 to the power of minus three halves. So again, if we follow the rule in the red cloud, so put one on the numerator, then write the 16 on the denominator. So we put a root over the 16. So the denominator of our fraction is two, so we put the two here and the numerator of our fraction is 3. So again, we just need to work this out one out now. So again, we've got the little 2 on the roots. That's the square root of 16, which is 4, because 4, 4 is a 16. And then we just need to cube the 4 now. So 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. So let's have a look at our final example then. So this time we've got to work out 27 to the power of minus 2 thirds. Okay, so again put the 1 on the numerator of our fraction and then on the denominator put our base number which is 27. Then put a root over it. The denominator 3 goes on the root and the numerator of our fraction 2 goes on the outside. So again, this time we've got a 3 on the roots, so that means the cube root of 27. So the cube root of 27 is 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So we've got 1 over 3 squared. And then we just work out this 3 squared now, which is 9, because 3 3 is a 9. So we're left with 1 9. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.